Hello artists, for the next stage of your soldiers, we're going to use markers. They cannot be Sharpies, they cannot be permanent. They need to be normal, everyday markers that you use in the classroom. And we're going to add some color to your soldiers. We're trying to keep them realistic. Now, if you don't have good flesh color marker, which I don't, you can choose like a brown or an orange for your face. And we are not pushing hard with the marker. We are going to be gentle. So if you take the marker and use the tip and push really hard, it's going to leave fresh dents in your foam. We don't want that. Remember the side of the marker is a wonderful thing. It helps get things done faster on your art. Once you're finished coloring, notice I didn't color the background. You will have a piece of paper, a long strip, and I need your name in a corner. And I'm gonna show you two different methods to get this wet, okay? One method is we might have baby wipes, in which case you're going to need two. One is for getting your paper wet. The other is for getting dirty. So I'm gonna take this paper and move it off the messy mat so it doesn't pick up all that extra paint. And on just one half, I am wiping with this baby wipe and getting the paper wet. Notice I didn't wipe it just once. Then I'm taking the wet part and I'm going to lay it down so it lines up with my printing plate and give it a nice massage. I'm trying to hold it down with one hand so it doesn't come off. Now, printmaking is not perfect. You will not have wonderful, 100% amazing results every time. So, we're shooting for, is it 90%? Okay, I have a really good first print. Looks like I needed to get a little wetter down here at the bottom. That's why the color looks a little darker here, so I didn't have enough color there. That is a really good first print. Okay, then for changing color, and you're using the baby wipe method, like I said, one of these stays clean, the other one is the one that's going to get dirty. So I'm taking one baby wipe and I'm wiping off the printing plate because we can change colors. Wipe over here so the mess stays on the messy mat. Staining is normal. I'm going to use a table towel to dry it off. So that's officially the dirty wet wipe. That's officially the clean wet wipe. Okay, moving that paper. Then you take your marker and color it again. If you really wanted to, you could go in and change some small details. Like I could add a little beard on this one. So now he looks a little different. Or I could go in and thicken the eyebrows on another one. So they change a little bit from picture to picture. The other option we could be using for printing is the sponge method where we have a sponge in a bowl, squeeze out the water over the bowl, and then only on the half you're printing on, wipe the sponge across several times to get it wet. All right, we take this, lay it down, and like before, massage. and lift. Also a pretty good print. Now if you look at your print and the colors are really, really light, that means your paper needed to be a little wetter. If you look at your print and the colors are all running together, like they're bright like mine, but they're running together, that means you had way too much water. If you're using the sponge method, then this will have to get rinsed off at the sink and dried off with paper towel. 
And as I said, baby wipes, we have one to wipe the paper and one to wipe your printing plate.